I loved Venom in this movie. I love Tom Hardy in this movie. What up, what up, good people? It's your boy D coming at you with another episode of the DA Experience. Today I got another review for you. If you didn't know about the shirt, check it out. I don't know if you can see it. Can y'all see it? There you go. Uh, I went and saw Venom yesterday and I had my apprehensions about this movie. I guess that's the right word to use here. Um, this is a Venom movie that supposedly isn't connected to Spider-Man in any way. And I wasn't sure how this is going to work because his mythos is so attached to Spider-Man, at least the beginning. If you're going to do an origin of a character, how can you do an origin of Venom without um, Spider-Man? So when I saw this and some of the trailers, I was kind of like, eh, like I didn't understand. Like the CGI did not look that well to me. Um, I was kind of like off by like the pics of who they had in the cast though that was quelled within a couple of minutes of seeing the movie um michelle williams and tom hardy did great in this um well let me start with saying i like the movie the movie was good i think it suffered from the fact it didn't come out in the right decade had this come out like in the 90s when venom was at his peak this probably would be considered one of the greatest comic book movies of all time because it's kind of coming uh, years after there's been at this point six or seven Spider-Man movies and uh, even a Venom appearance in Spider-Man 3, it had to kind of a lot to show for it. And there were points where the movie had a little bit of a cash grab feel to it. Um, but the good about this, Tom Hardy was a perfect pick. He did some acting choices I wasn't um, too familiar with. But once that symbiote or symbiote, as they said in the movie, uh, joins with him and he starts to understand the powers and you start hearing the voice the movie clicks and it becomes uh it becomes funny when it needs to be it becomes action-packed when it needs to be there are a lot of good action sequences in this and, and even at times like for the younger children it could be a little mm, we'll say scary not scary scary but if you're not familiar with venom you could definitely turn you um like turn your head a little bit that he does some stuff in this but when venom is on screen that first time he goes in and it's a great day. It's a much better debut for the character than Spider-Man 3. I loved Venom in this movie. I loved Tom Hardy in this movie. And Michelle Williams played really well off of him as his um, fiance slash uh, girlfriend slash uh, antagonist at times. Um, but the Venom symbiote, is, it, it talks to him. And I think Tom Hardy even did the voice of it. And to me, that's what Venom is supposed to sound like. I've heard some other people say they like the way he sounded in the animated series and other stuff. But to me... That was the way Venom was supposed to sound. They got the look of the mouth right when he brought the tongue out. The only thing missing was, you know, the spider across the chest. Uh, now on to the bad. Unfortunately, everything else about this movie was just meh. I mean, the writing was, uh, I hate to say it, but the writing, no, I don't hate to say it. The writing was atrocious. I was like, this, like I said, it seems like this is something that should have came out in the 90s. That's how the writing was for this. It was very extreme in 90s-ish, except when like Tom Hardy and Venom are going back and forth with each other. Those parts were great, but some of the stuff they were saying and the way they were shot in the scenes just did not work. Uh, the villain is very forgettable. You will not be hearing anyone say anything about uh, him at any point in time in the future on the list of greatest Marvel villains. His whole reasoning for it isn't even fleshed out. They just wanted to kind of, here's the thing, here's Venom, here's a plot there. And that's what pretty much what the movie was. It, the, the movie is going to be pretty forgettable. Like, you'll try to sit there and be trying to remember, like, what was the plot of Venom? And it's what it was supposed to be. The movie was just supposed to find a way to introduce Venom and start a new franchise. And that's what it did. Uh, if, but if you just can get through the first, also the first 30 minutes of the movie, like I said, Venom's mythos is attached to Spider-Man. And if you can't have that, they have to establish what the symbiote is. You have to establish Eddie Brock. You have to establish why he does what he was. You have to establish what the symbiotes do and what their powers are. So in the first 30 minutes that you have to get all that out and it's like pacing issues and you're kind of like, okay, what, what's happening? And it just kind of moves right through that. And you're kind of sitting there clunking like, okay, come on, can we get to the point? Can we get the Venom? But once Venom is on, uh, it's good to go. And it's not like when I saw the Predator last week. Uh, while the Venom suit probably isn't seen that much, they at least let you hear his voice and you start to love this character because 
That's what I remember, I remember from the comics. That's what I remember from the cartoon. This voice talking to him and uh, helping him with his decisions. Um, but at the end of the day, folks, you aren't going to really remember this movie. But if you just want something to go see to kill two hours, I think the movie's an hour and 45 minutes long. If you just want to go see something to kill two hours with, uh, then go check this out. It's not something you have to rush and go see in the theaters. It's not going to be um, one of those can't miss things but if you are one a huge venom fan go check it out it would have done better if it was regular r but they got around it with the pg-13 venom did some very venom-esque things um and uh like i said the rating kind of hurt it and the speed at which they did the movie kind of hurt it but other than that like i said do not go for the movie the movie is forgettable definitely go for venom i'm gonna give this one a six out of ten i have to it just doesn't hit that seven or above average mark it's just a little bit better than a okay movie only because venom is so good in the movie um that's going to be doing it for me today i'm going to see some more scary uh themed movies this month i think i'm going to check out the nun i'm gonna go check out hellfest i'm definitely going to check out Hell halloween so be looking for those reviews of those uh of uh, those of october and halloween themed uh movies but again that's going to do it for me um, I'll see you all next time. I'll see you at the movies. Here's hoping it's a good one. Peace!